Hey, 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 Chris Yopa here from Vicious RV, and I'm ready to give you guys a pretty in detailed walkthrough of one of my last, if not, I believe, last 4081 Dutch Star. Uh, it's, it's my last 2021, so the 4081 being one of the premier floor plans that Numar makes from the Dutch Star series is equipped with a bath and a half, a fully customized optioned coach. So everything we have on here for the most part are options that we selected as a dealer that we know are very, very, uh, popular items that most people want on this equipped motorhome. So from the exterior, right out the gates really quick guys, the exterior paint is custom designed by us. There is not gonna be too many 4081s on the road with each one of these color palettes series through the paint palette. So that's pretty cool on its own. You're gonna get yourself a customized paint palette on the exterior. This coach, uh, being 450 horsepower, Cummins motor, Allison 3000, uh, gives you 1,250 pounds of foot torque is set on 315s for the tire size, all the way through the back, all the way to the tag axle. Uh, passive steering tag axle, by the way. Quick quiz, what does passive steering do for the Dutch Star? Ding, ding, ding. Gives you a tighter turning radius. That, that, excuse me, that rear tag axle cants inward when you make your left and right turns. So those wheels canting in give you about 16 to 17 extra percent wheel cut. So that means that 40 feet driving into a left or right turn is like turning a 33 foot motorhome into that turn. That's how much extra wheel cut you get. That alone is huge with that already 55 degree wheel cut, 60 degree on some coaches that you get up front from the standard steering wheel. Uh, have you guys seen Numar storage bays? There's so much top space and wide space through these with the cargo tray pull out. I kid you not, my blooper reel right now is a test video of me taking a nap down here and my video guy pulling this out because we thought that'd be kind of funny to be like, hey guys, look how much space you have. But then I bonked my head, so that ain't working out. Anyhow, check this bad boy out. Both sides of the coach, you can access this pull out tray. Um, very easy to load things up to so you don't bonk your head on the bottom of the slide, which is very easy to do if you're sleeping on one. Coach is equipped, uh, patented to Numar with the Star Foundation. That's these Z pattern rails that you see that are going through that Spartan chassis. This allows the coach to drive down the road a lot more stable, no shifting and movement in the, uh, the actual framing of the sidewalls. Gives kind of like a train going down the tracks, just very steady and steered. There's none of that left and right motion in the ocean. Awesome, awesome thing set for this coach from construction. Numars. Slam in the door, don't do it that way. What you wanna do is slam it from the actual latch. It's got T66 aluminum, and the actual seals around these doors are very tight and sensitive. So slamming it from this latch will give you that better seal for the close. Half cut tray inside of that cargo, cargo bay area, a pin board for tools and extra things from the garage, things you need to travel with that are accessible that you need to use outside. This is perfect to store all those items away with. Um, we all like to keep our stuff in the garages. All, all handy folks like using space adequately. This is a little side garage for you. I just told you guys about slamming that door. Don't slam the door like that. Slam it from the latch and then you get that seal. It's that easy. Going back around to the back, if you guys look at the back of the coach here, this is an egress door. Uh, standard on the Dutch Star series. You open this door from the inside and you have a full drop down ladder and you can access the coach as an emergency in and outside from the rear bathroom. Full space, full capacity. A lot of other brands just have that emergency exit window in the rear bedroom around that cabinetry. Now you have a full size door that people and humans can actually fit outside rather than just your dog. Back of the coach, Dutch Stars have side draft radiators. So that cool feature gives you the access to reach inside that motor and if you're handy, tinker with things on your own. Uh, for anybody that's an uh, active RVer through the Midwest, down through Texas, knows there's those long stretch of highways that sometimes there is not fuel, places to stop for, for many, many, many miles. Let's say you happen to blow a belt. Not say it's gonna happen, but that happens on motorhomes sometimes. If you have a, a rear draft radiator back here, you ain't taking that thing apart yourself to change out a belt. If you are handy by any chance and you want to change a belt and you have extra belts on board and something happens in the middle of Texas, you can reach right in here without that side draft radiator and take care of this yourself. This is a huge incentive just from mechanics alone on reaching into your motor, having a side draft radiator, and it keeps it cleaner. Let's head around back inside the coach. 
We'll pass that full wall slide that you get on the Newmar Dutch Star and we'll go inside and look at the great options you get inside. Okay guys? All right, nice and cool inside the Dutch Star. Uh, lots of custom features, custom options that we did on this motorhome. Um, I right out the gates like pointing out the flooring. So uh, my senior and ordering manager likes to customize the coach. Again, like I said, just like the exterior to make it stand out just a little bit more. So the flooring on this coach is actually from a higher series line motorhome from Newmar called the Mountaineer. This is Mountaineer tile flooring, porcelain tile flooring extended throughout the entire coach into that sidewall on the driver's side. Uh, Dutch Star and up, there is no carpet on the coach. That is completely a feature that's been gone away with since 2016. Uh, came out in about 15, but we've seen it for about the last six years now. Um, the great feature behind that is we know that cleaning is the main essential when you're trying to take care of your motorhome and carpeting can kind of get in the way. But this feature allows this coach now to have a hydraulic lift slide. This slide system actually hydraulic lifts up and on rollers on the bottom of the slide rides in. And the only way you're able to have porcelain tile on a foot coach like this is to have that extra weight structured in with a hydraulic slide. So that really helps the coach overall have that dimension change and allow you to have tile flooring. Stepping down the galley space just from a viewpoint, um, it's very, very light colors in here. The wood palette on this option is called Arctic. So it's been a very, very popular choice in the past couple of years, especially on the West Coast of the United States, but we're seeing it expand all the way to the East Coast too. Um, but I personally like it because when all the TV is down and you can see through all the windows like the sun's glaring today, you get a nice shine from the sun and cross lighting across the coach. So imagine waking up at one of those beautiful campgrounds somewhere in the Shenandoah Mountains, all that nice lighting coming through, that's a nice way to wake up. It's beautiful, especially with this light wood. All the valances are wood as well. There's no more cloth on the Dutch Star wood valances. Uh, makes it a lot easier to clean and just, you know, overall looks alone. It's beautiful. We still have that nice true induction cooktop on the 21 series Dutch Star and it's still removable. So true induction cooktop, hot and cold to the touch immediately once it's turned on and taking it outside to cook because it's just a normal 110 plug-in. Super fancy, super cool. Uh, if you want to order a dishwasher and have that installed, we don't order them with it because maybe some people like the storage, but you get more storage without the dishwasher. But if you want the dishwasher, we install it for you right there and it takes up those three cupboards. Stepping down the galley space, uh, anything like at most of our bath and a half, you're going to always have that 19.7 Whirlpool refrigerator residential. Ice maker is in the bottom storage drawer where the ice, uh, excuse me, for your, um, your cold items. And on this floor plan, specifically your pantry is to the left of the refrigerator. Traditional pivot door with the back place toilet in the bathroom and above lav sink bowl. And into the residential bedroom. As you can see, it doesn't even seem like you're in a motorhome. This feels like you walked in one of those high-end hotels, the Waldorf Astoria, and you got the nice separation from bedroom to galley space. And in that bedroom, you have that radius mattress bed, uh, king size. It does have the rounded corners, which still allows you to be able to use your standard king size sheets and blankets. This mattress specifically is not an air mattress. This is just a standard mattress, but it is rounded. And uh, one of the options you can get for this coach is the air mattress that still will look the same, but it'll have a remote control to lift the air on both sides of the bed. And stepping into the redesigned in the last couple of years, 4081 bathroom, which gives you the larger cut shower. Um, you got the seat against the back wall in here. And just to give you a little bit of demonstration, being uh, just a little over six feet, 200 pounds, I have a lot of space in this shower to feel comfortable when my day's done and I've been out in the woods and doing my camping thing, just to sit down and enjoy my shower but let's be real this was really designed for the partners in our lives to really enjoy that shower space nice seat in there for them and you can shave the legs and do whatever you need to do nice and comfortable because that's what we do right we make our family happy when we buy these back in the back bathroom what i really like to demonstrate too is the usage of a commode having the space around your legs this is a very important feature to recognize depending on your body size and who you are. So when you sit down on a toilet, you know you have plenty of comfort space, whether you're reading a magazine or just 
going in the bathroom to get in and out. You're not corner cut into a tiny little toilet that a lot of the times don't give you a lot of that knee space because you hit against the wood. So point being is, with all that extra space here, I think I just cut on the toilet, uh, you have left and right movement on your knees to enjoy the space when you're using the commode. And lastly, I passed right by it, stackable washer and dryer right into this closet in here. Take out all the shelving. It's already pre-plumbed and pre-vented. You can purchase one of the washers and dryers from our service department. We did install it for you and have it ready for you on the time of pickup. This is a fun experience, guys. When you buy a coach, it's got to be that Disneyland experience. You know, um, when you come out here, I want to make sure you guys get the experience to test drive. That's super important when you buy a Newmar, um, specifically any motor coach, but this brand especially because I have that comfort drive feature. And if you haven't researched that, look it up. It's a computerized monitoring balancing system of that steering column. Long story short, that steering wheel turns um, with a computer system back to zero degrees on its own. You turn that wheel as far as you can, you let go of it and it comes back to zero. You can imagine driving down the road what that does for your shoulders, no white knuckling on the steering wheel. It's a nice, easy, smooth drive down the highway or the roads. Point being is, this is why I encourage that if you come out, let's do a test drive, feel it for yourself. This coach is one of the most well-equipped, powerful machines made, and I would be happy to show you guys. So the cockpit area of the 4081 is pretty equipped itself. Um, the Spartan chassis still has the standard Allison transmission pads uh, shifting on the left-hand side of the coach here. So your drive, neutral, and reverse are right under your electric-driven window. Um, you do have uh, engine brake that has a series button in the middle and it has low, high, and medium set settings. And engine brake allows this motor home to stop on its own from your actual motor. It's an excellent feature to have, especially when you're driving down a mountain and, and towing a vehicle. Uh, Spartan chassis, uh, very, very equipped um, chassis with heavy duty steel. You know, this is a lot, the, the I beams down this coach are a little bit thicker than standard other competitor uh, chassis. Uh, it does drive like a, like a train. Um, those two screens there in the center of the, uh, the dash, the left is your radio, uh, that's where your navigation is, it's all touch screen, that uh, allows you, the 10 inch monitor screen and everything is uh, equipped internally digitally in that now, and to the right screen is your backup cameras and your 360 camera, OmniView 360. This is your house bay up here. This coach has uh, all the settings in one place. You don't have to walk around the whole coach looking for your awning controls, your um, hydronic heating controls, your inverter controls, your house button is all electronic. Everything is located right in this bay above the driver's cockpit area. And on that note, the Oasis hydronic heating module, this coach is an all electric coach. There is no propane on board. So you have that its own heating system. It's like its own furnace, basically, electrically driven. Uh, fires on with a little bit of diesel fuel uh, igniting that heater. And that was what gets your heating system and your water instantaneously hot and also secondary heat source for your uh, heating on the co coach aboard in general. Again, I'm Chris Shopa. Ask for me and uh, we'll have some fun. Thanks.